So, when did you all start to notice your double chin? For me, it was something I started to notice later in life. I'm 54 now. I chalked it up to just getting older. It's bothered me for years. Even though no one said a word to me about it, I saw it every time I looked in the mirror and in every photograph. It's something I've had as long as I can remember. It runs in my family. And I was a little heavier growing up, which certainly didn't help the area. There was a point in my life where I was heavier, and my double chin was really obvious. But even after I lost the weight, it was still there. I look at my mother, and she's had it her whole life as well. So what would you say the moment was that you wanted to do something about the fullness under your chin? For me, it was social media that did it. Oh, yeah, social media for sure. My friends would tag me in photos, and I would think, no way is this me. It's just not flattering, and it's really not how I see myself. When my niece was born, my sister posted all of these photos of me holding her, and I was like, can you just crop me out? <laughs> and all I could do was focus on my double chin. And how about candid photos? If you want to take pictures of me all day long, that's great, but give me a heads up so I can choose the best angle and pose. Unfortunately, the angle thing only works in photos. Can't save you from button-down shirts or ties, which I have to wear when I'm working at catering events. Oh, that tie, it really used to accentuate this area and made me self-conscious about my chin profile. So when I heard about Kybella, I said, sign me up. Same here. An injectable treatment for the fat under my chin? I couldn't wait to get started. Yeah, I was impressed when I heard that Kybella destroys the fat cells under your chin. No surgery? That sealed the deal for me. I've been going to an anesthetic doctor for years to take care of other things. My look is important to me, you know? So when my dermatologist mentioned Kybella, I was like, yes, please. Well, I had a bit of a unique situation. I have a small build, and the extra fat under my chin made it look like I didn't have much of a chin at all. My treatment sessions were tailored to me by my doctor based on the amount of fat I had here, and I think the results say it all. What was treatment like for you? The injection process itself was pretty quick for me. It took about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. There was some discomfort. My doctor told me I'd probably have some swelling and maybe some bruising, so he gave me an ice pack to take with me. How about after treatment? The day after my first treatment, I started to notice some bruising, but it didn't keep me from running errands. I also experienced swelling under my chin. I had a similar experience. In general, downtime was minimal for me, and now I have this new chin profile. How do you feel now? Oh, I am happy with the results. I don't feel as insecure about my chin. I'm having fun dating, spending time with my friends. I used to feel embarrassed, overweight, self-conscious, bothered by my double chin. I just wasn't happy with this area, and I felt like it made me look older. But after treatment with Kybella, my self-perception has improved. Yeah, work it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Approved use and important safety information about Kybella. Kybella is a prescription medicine used in adults to improve the appearance and profile of moderate to severe fat below the chin, submental fat, also called double chin. It is not known if Kybella is safe and effective for use outside of the submental area or in children less than 18 years of age. You should not receive Kybella if you have an infection in the treatment area. Before receiving Kybella, tell your healthcare provider about all of your medical conditions, including if you have had or plan to have surgery on your face, neck, or chin, have had cosmetic treatments on your face, neck, or chin, have had or have medical conditions in or near the neck area, have had or have trouble swallowing, have bleeding problems, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant, it is not known if Kybella will harm your unborn baby, are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed, it is not known if Kybella passes into your breast milk, Talk to your healthcare provider about the best way to feed your baby if you receive Kybella. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over the counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Especially tell your healthcare provider if you take a medicine that prevents the clotting of your blood, antiplatelet or anticoagulant medicine. Kybella can cause serious side effects, including nerve injury in the jaw, which can cause an uneven smile or facial muscle weakness or trouble swallowing. The most common side effects of Kybella include swelling, bruising, pain, numbness, redness, and areas of hardness in the treatment area. These are not all of the possible side effects of Kybella. Call your healthcare provider for medical advice about side effects. Please see full prescribing information on mykybella.com.